people are moving out of thirsty SUVs these days, but still craving utility, hatchbacks to the rescue. Looking like the offspring of a sport ute and sports car, the strength of Dodge Caliber is versatility. It's been around a few years. What you're looking at is the new top o the line Rush model. Unlike its domestic brethren, Chrysler has been laying kind of low in the product department. Not much in the pipeline of late. Well, that's all about to change. Over the next year, nearly every model will be either all new or get a substantial refresh. And in that department, the Caliber is among the first in line. The redo is modest with one exception, the interior. It's much easier on the eyes now. Most plastics are hard. The places that fingers and elbows touch are soft. Controls have a silky feel. Yes, that's auto climate control. Other standard equipment includes handy stuff like iPod integration, heated seats, a regular electrical outlet, Bluetooth connectivity, and a chill zone. Good for keeping drinks and lunches cool, though I hear it's not good to refrigerate bananas. And just a tip, the sound system is great. Load photos as wallpaper here, and there are 30 gigs of memory for tunes. Back here, there's belts for three, a good amount of space, plenty of headroom, and the seats recline. There is no center armrest, though. Easy to reach cup holders help, but might annoy the center passenger. Surprising that there's no map pockets or power ports in back. The Rush model gets a more powerful 2.4 liter, 172 horse four cylinder that's hooked up to either a five speed manual or this optional automatic type continuously variable transmission or CVT. Caliber has average acceleration, zero to 60, coming up in around eight and a half seconds. The transmission has the expected elastic dynamic that CVTs often have. EPA rates this Dodge at 23 city, 29 highway, not an enthusiast's car. Driving dynamics, ride quality, interior noise, and brakes are all mid-pack at best. Back to the interior, surfers pay attention. The front seat folds flat and the floor is reversible to keep sand out of the carpet. A handy touch, there's a rechargeable flashlight. Apparently there's some data showing that Americans are finally rediscovering how great and useful hatchbacks are. Caliber has a unique feature, tunes for your tailgate party, though well, that's awful music. Let's try that again. Worse. That's okay. This test, not always performed to a soundtrack, is done with the back row up, and here Caliber scores a five, about average for the class. This tester stickers for 24-4 before incentives. Dodge packs some unique features into this refreshed hatchback that few other vehicles have, making Caliber a useful choice. There are loads of videos at drivencarreviews.com. Almost all are expanded versions of the drive videos, so head on over and get the full picture. I'm Tom Volk.